I'm Anil Kumal. Here are a few questions from the basic trigonometry test paper. You need to state all solutions to the equations on the interval 0 to 360 degrees. Sine theta is 0 0.8642, cos theta is negative 0 0.2365, cosecant theta is 2.3645. You can pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. Now when sine theta is positive in the interval 0 to 360, what do we expect? We actually expect two solutions, one in quadrant 1 and the other one in quadrant 2. Right? So we can easily find the solution using the calculator theta is equals to sine inverse of the value given to us which is 0 0.8642. Now remember this angle theta basically will be the acute angle. So, so treat this as the first solution. We can call it alpha at times. Okay. So let's find sine inverse of 0.8642. It gives 59.79. Now, so that is the angle alpha in quadrant 1. Sine theta is also positive in quadrant 2. So now the other angle, let's call this as theta 1. The other angle theta 2 is going to be 180 degrees minus that. Okay, so let's round this to, let's write round this answer theta 1 to one decimal place 59.8 degrees. The other angle will be 180 degrees minus 59.8 degrees. So that is going to be 180 minus 59.8, 120.2 degrees. So that is how we get all the solutions in the given domain. Now for cosine, negative means we are looking for solutions in quadrant 2 and 3 right so let's find the first angle let's say theta 1 now since these angles are obtuse angles it is actually better to find the acute angle so we can say cos of alpha will be equal to a positive value let's find out the angle alpha now which is 0 0.2365 so alpha equals to cos inverse of 0 0.2365 shift cos inverse 0.2365 equals to we get as 76 point let's say 3 degrees so that is the acute angle now since we are looking for solutions in quadrant 2 and 3 cos is negative in these two quadrants, the angles will be 180 degrees minus the acute angle 76.3 and the other angle will be 180 degrees plus 76.3 degrees, right? So let us add uh, 180 degrees to 76.3 And if we subtract 76.3, we get the other answer, which is equal to 103.7 degrees, right? So these are the two angles. The last question here is, cosecant theta is given to us, right? Now, if cosecant theta, which is reciprocal of sine theta, we could write this as, sine theta is equal to 1 over 
2.3645 right now that becomes the sine theta value positive means we are looking for two solutions and these are going to be in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 2 correct so to begin with let's find the acute angle the solution in quadrant 1 first so we can say the acute angle alpha is sine inverse of 1 over 2.3645 so we'll do sine inverse 1 divided by 2.3645 that gives us angle of 25.0 degrees so that is one solution the other solution is the angle theta we can write that as 180 degrees minus 25 degrees right so we'll take away 25 from 180 180 minus 25 which gives us 155.0 degrees so that is how we can find solutions in the given domain right there are three more questions to go let's take up those questions also now the question is state all solutions to the equations on the same interval 0 to 360 degrees so again tan theta positive it really means we are looking for two solutions one in quadrant 1 the other one in quadrant 3 since tan is positive in both these quadrants now we can find this solution from special triangles also 1 over square root 3 we can make a special triangle with sides 1 to square root 3 so tan theta being 1 over square root 3 means we are looking at this angle which is 30 degrees so one of the solution is 30 degrees and the other is 180 plus 30 which is 210 degrees so we get two solutions one we can write theta equals to 30 degrees and the other theta let's say theta 1 and theta 2 as 180 degrees plus 30 degrees which is 210 degrees now part B is cot theta equals to minus 1 cot is negative reciprocal of tan in quadrant 2 and in quadrant 4 minus 1 means angle of 45 degrees and therefore the solutions are 180 minus 45 and 360 minus 45 so the two angles are theta 1 equals to 180 minus 45 degrees and theta 2 equals to 360 degrees minus 45 degrees so it is 180 minus 45 135 degrees and the other one 360 minus 45 is 315 degrees the last question here is tan theta equals to cot theta you could solve this as an equation saying tan theta equals to 1 over tan theta or cross multiply so you get tan square theta equals to 1 right that means tan theta equals to plus minus square root of 1 which is plus minus 1 now that gives us four solutions since we're looking for positive and negative values for tan so the acute angle is 45 degrees so in this case we are looking for four solutions one is 45 degrees the other one is 180 minus 45 which is 135 and then we have 
180 plus 45 which is 225 and the third angle is 360 minus 45 which is 315 degrees so in the last case we actually get four solutions with acute angle of 45 degrees so I hope that helps to understand how we can actually find solutions for such equations. So we basically dealt with basic trigonometric ratios and I've tried to understand if we are given their values, how to evaluate them in the domain 0 to 360 degrees. So at times we could have two and at times we could also have four solutions as you've seen in the last example. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. Thanks for watching and all the best.